New York City's 35th annual Fleet Week kicks off today. You can see the parade of ships as they maneuver their way up the Hudson River. Thousands of U.S. service members will descend upon the city for a week-long itinerary of events. So for more on this, let's bring in John Elliott from CBS News New York. Hey, John, what's it like out there right now? I got a... It's great. It is absolutely great, and it's all about this. We, this is the USS Wasp. I want to show you, this is an LHD class, landing helicopter deck class. What you're seeing wow. is tugboats assisting this great vessel in. What you see on the deck is young men and women manning the rails in their dress uniforms, facing out. They're coming in. They will dock this right next to the Intrepid. Possibly even during this hit with you, we're going to have a, a flyover, and then we continue to see the parade of ships with about 3,000 uniformed men and women who serve our country roam in the streets of the five boroughs of New York saying hi and exploring. It's a win-win for everybody. John, I always learn so much uh, when you are live on location for Fleet Week. Um, so what is the parade of ships? Uh, explain to the audience what that is. And uh, for our Canadian colleague, Emery Green, why are there ships from Canada and also Italy uh, and the UK uh, taking part in it. We have Canada, we have the UK, we have Italy. So this is a reciprocal where these ships from these great allies of ours are going to be coming by. I don't, my photographer Walter may try to uh, paint the skies too. It's a parade of ships. They go up the Hudson, they turn around, they go through the Verrazano Narrows, and then they, what they'll do is they'll dock at various piers along the uh, Manhattan and in Staten Island and in Brooklyn. Then they have tours, they have performances, they have functions, but also the men and women who serve on these ships, it's kind of a great two-way street because they get to hit the street and enjoy some of New York. But you can actually see this. I mean, I know it's, it's hard to capture with the lens, these massive tonnage, these beautiful vessels, but they're gonna continue to go up the Hudson, then they come back down and then they dock for tours and to let the servicemen and women off. No, it looks pretty impressive yeah, uh, on Walter's video. Walter's doing a heck of a job. Because it, is, is, that, is that your cameraman, Walter? The Walter's doing that. I got to tell you, the U.S. Navy band was here this morning. We have all kinds of, we've got the, the drill team. It's great. And then the, the Secretary of the Navy was right across there at the Intrepid. But I had so much more fun here with these 19, 18, 22 year old kids who have signed up for service. Look at these two cats. They're from Long Island. All right. Yeah. Yay. And they get to come home yeah, for it's fantastic. Fleet Week. It's just great to see. And there, you may have spotted a Marine or two. So we have the Marines, the Coast Guard, and the. Uh, and the Navy. Look at this Marine here. He's taking pictures. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embarrass him. So I guess, but, you uh, know. That's great. For some if of you these see somebody in uniform, buy him a, buy him a drink. <laughs> for some of these people, like the two people from Long Island, this is also an opportunity to probably see loved ones that they haven't seen in a while, just to reconnect. I got to tell you, this one young man, he's a Marine. He's been a Marine for two years. I think they, they, he had to go off to another commitment. He came up to me and said, hey, I remember watching you as a kid. Wow. Well, that's great, <laughs> making me feel old, but it's so <laughs> nice to have these. They're coming home. They're coming home, and they're going to be honored this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Uh, John Elliott, always great to have you, my friend. Thank you.